Alright guys, welcome back to the channel. Hope you guys are doing fantastic. Quick video right here because I was reading this from Julian or Julian Castro. He's a presidential candidate for the Democrats. And of course, just like every other uh, candidate that we have, one of his major or that the Democrat Party has, one of the major uh, components is gun control. You know, he wants to do all those great things in order to protect the people right and we see that all the time how they say well if we do a b and c uh we're going to be able to protect the people and to me it's a lie and i've been preaching and talking about this people don't like to have conversations with me too often because when i start bringing facts uh they get confused you know because they're making opinions or they're trying to make decisions based in emotions which is a very very a uh, hard thing to do or not really that smart thing to do you want to make decision on facts not on emotion because when you make a decision and emotions it's just gonna go bad you know and this is something that we have talked about here in this channel a lot but again you know he has this plan enough on how he's going to protect the people and you know I was reading through it if you want to read it I guess I'll link it down below but obviously, he starts the whole plan with, you know, apparently, and this is something that every candidate, uh, Democratic candidate did, is blame President Trump for the attacks. And to me, it's a little bit unfair because he didn't commit the attacks, right? Uh, the, the, the shooter committed the attack. He was the one who did it. And, you know, we have to put, uh, you know, do whatever is necessary to deal with those active killers and not blame somebody else it just doesn't make sense and it's kind of disgusting in my opinion that they are using they, they are taking the blame from the shooter and putting the blame on the president of the united states to me it's kind of disgusting but here's the thing that i wanted to mention first of all on his plan right here he's talking about he has a plan to deal with why terrorists or essentially disarm hate and the thing about this is that I always say it's a propaganda because when you say disarm hate and the basic person looks at it, you 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 would tend to agree with it. You would tend to be like, wow, you know, we don't want people to hate. We don't want people to be mean to each other. We don't want people to get bullied. We don't just don't want, we want people to love, people to get together, people to to embrace each other as brothers, you know, to embrace each other as sister, to be a great community. Who wants hate but then during that or on the umbrella of disarm hate you start seeing how they want to take away your rights gun confiscation you know or, or buy uh what is a buyback progress or whatever where they say well we pay your money for your guns right i, I could sell you one i got an ar-15 i could sell it to you for about a hundred and fifty thousand two hundred thousand dollars but you know all that is it, it, confiscation because i don't want to sell you my guns so what's next you're going to come to my house and take him so again you know you have disarm hate which everyone wants to have a great community and under that umbrella they start talking about taking your guns and, and all this crazy stuff but for the regular person for the person that is not going to do his homework for the person that is not going to look into it for the person that is just going to look at it on facebook and be like okay share you're not realizing that their plan is to take away your guns, confiscate your guns, and you don't even see it because they put it under on the, on the, the disarm hate. So again, it's propaganda. It, it, it's a technique that the enemy been using for many years. It's a technique that people been using, you know, for many, many years. The same thing I just saw on Twitter, uh, uh, a petition to lower the capacity of magazines and it was a picture of a little boy and who doesn't you know when you see a little boy that i believe he got killed i mean who doesn't want to sign a petition you see the little boy you see the petition you are intending or inclining to sign it little that you know under that umbrella there's so many other things that you may not agree with so like i said this is a propaganda fight a social media fight where they are censoring us they are taking our belief out of the way they are pushing this type of belief and it's really a fight 
that it's really difficult to fight because, like I said, the whole censorship and all that stuff is kind of difficult to share this information. So I definitely appreciate when you share my videos and things like that, right? So again, you know, as I continue to watch this, they continue to talk about the extremist violent uh, threat. So I'm thinking to myself, well, I'm a Hispanic kid. So I guess why would I give you my guns, right? You're telling me there is a threat of terrorists. Shouldn't I have a way to protect myself? Or are you going to issue me a police officer? Probably not. But again, you know, it is what it is. The propaganda continue by talking about how 100 people die a day due to gun violence. Gun violence. 100 people. But again, you know, when you, when, when you start educating yourself, quickly you find out that out of those 100 people, a large majority is suicide. A large majority are gang related. And, and again, you know, it's not like there's 100 kids being shot a day with an AR-15. That is not true, but they put it here like a hundred people are getting killed a day and people are reading this saying, dear Lord, we need to disarm hate. Again, a propaganda. So again, as I continue to read this, you know, they're talking about how a gun epidemic is affecting the community of color. But again, you know, when you look at stats, I'm pretty sure I may be wrong, but the majority of crime is not made by the white men coming down and kill Austin minority, we do it to ourselves. So again, I may be wrong, but I I'm pretty sure that when we talk about communities of color, which is blacks, Hispanics, and I, I don't even know how many people follow on the that label, but again, it's not like the white man is coming to kill us, you know, is we are doing it to each other. So again, another lie, uh, uh, propaganda, uh, it continues to spread lies. It, it's just sad to read this kind of information because we know that it's just not true. This is so much garbage. You know, now we are criticizing the United States, how we, the United States, have so much guns. You know, uh, other nations, you know, I, I hate when I hear politicians saying how other nations are not as good, doesn't have the issue that we have here. When you have nations in Europe that have extreme terrorist activity, you have nations in Europe that they have used vehicles to kill people, you have nations over there that people are getting stabbed every single day, you know, you have countries like Iraq and Afghanistan where they murder you for no reason, where a woman is not even allowed to use a car, where a woman is not even allowed to show her face, but you know they they criticize a country like oh we have too too many guns just just today I saw a protest and I think it was Hong Kong or something so one of those places way up there and they were holding Americans flag because they are so proud of what a country is doing but again you know they don't have those type of freedoms up there and we know that the United States is a country where we experience so many freedoms but again you know you have politicians comparing us to other countries and saying well you know in other countries uh, that doesn't happen well I'll tell you what go to Iraq Afghanistan and, and so does uh, uh, Muslim country where a woman is not allowed to speak and if she looks somebody else if she look at a guy she may get killed Go to those countries. Go to Cuba. Will Fidel Castro put you in, in, in a diet, forcible diet, because you weren't allowed to eat whatever you wanted. He had a little notebook that you had to sign how much food you get every single day. It's nonsense. This is the best country in the entire freaking planet. I stand by that every single day. They want common sense gun safety because common sense laws save life. That is not true. Common sense safety laws are do not in any way save life. We have seen guys that have done pretty much in a 180 degree. They have been great citizens. We don't know anything about them. They follow the law. They have follow every single regulation, including waiting 10 days in California. You know, all that nonsense. And then what do they do? They buy a rifle and commit a crime. I'm pretty sure the guy from Vegas that committed that horrific crime, it was more clean than me and you. That guy, I think he had a ticket or something like that. No one can predict the future. That's just how it is. All we could do is prepare. You know, that comes down to firearms, you know, guns, ammo, uh, 
putting a jack in your car in case you have a flat tire, having extra water, food in case you have an emergency. All we could do is prepare. So again, you know, his common sense, gun safety laws, safe life, includes universal background checks. We all know they're trying uh, to push that. Uh, it, it includes renewing an assault weapons ban, which is going to pretty much take every semi-automatic uh, gun out of the market. Strict limits on high capacity magazine to reduce gun fatality because you know a lot of a higher capacity it kills more people. You know, when we saw the guy in Park Lane use actually a 10 round magazine, he still killed a bunch of guys and he wouldn't have killed more if he wanted to. Remember, guys, he put the gun down, and walked away. He he could have he could have killed tons of people, but he decided uh to walk away. So again, you know, all kind of bands. Uh, we should invest in gun buy programs. Again, confiscation, uh, completely a violation of the Second Amendment rights, and extreme risk protection orders, which, in my opinion, are orders that are, a lot of people can exploit. And in many cases, you know, just me doing this video right here, somebody could call the police or something, or me showing a gun and or maybe posting a gun on Facebook or something. People could be like, well, they even got too many guns. We need to check him because he doesn't agree with my uh, personal belief. Next thing I know, I'm, I'm answering questions for no reasons. Again, those kind of programs, in my opinion, could potentially get great law-abiding citizens, good working Americans in a lot of trouble or harass or even question for no reason. I mean, I got to tell you guys, from all the Democrats, and I know some of you guys get upset, some of you guys get into arguments with me and all that, I know. President Trump is doing some things that are not in the best uh, uh, honoring the Second Amendment or in the best uh, for the Second Amendment. But nevertheless, just talking about some of the Democrats' presidential candidates, or actually all of them, all of them plan is to pretty much take away our guns. And, you know, if you disagree with me, they're saying it. They're saying we want to have uh, an assault ban a weapons assault weapons ban whatever they say and that essentially is going to be uh taking away a lot of semi-automatic rifles because the way that we've seen in the past they're going to write it out where your ruger 1022 may be illegal if if they get in the way i mean kamala harris says in the first 100 days she's going to do something about this and again you know gotta be very, very careful because the way they put it sometimes, you know, disarm hate may uh, want to, you know, be part of it because nobody wants to hate. Nobody wants to have that type of hate in the community. We want to love on each other, right? But when you start looking into it under that umbrella, there's so many lies and so many uh, issues that violate our Second Amendment rights. Let me know what you think. Put comments down below. And as always, God is in control.